Have you sewn a notched collar shirt before? Hello, my name is Sunju and welcome to Fashion Wonder. In this channel, I share trendy sewing patterns so you can buy less, sew more, and make DIY clothing. In today's tutorial, we're going to make the Ebby front tie notched collar shirt. I used 100% linen fabric to make this shirt to pair with the Ebby sheared high waist shorts. So if you're looking for a cute pair of shorts, check out the previous tutorial. Let's get started! To sew patch pocket, use serger to overlock stitch all around four sides of the left pocket sewing pattern piece. Fold quarter inch width on all three sides towards the wrong side of the pocket and press with iron. On the remaining side of the pocket, fold three quarter inch width and press with iron. Place the left front shirt facing right side up and transfer the pocket placement from the paper sewing pattern. Then, mark the four corners with fabric chalk. Position the left pocket piece and pin. Edge top stitch around three sides and leave the pocket opening. Press with iron. To sew notched collar facing, place the wrong side up and iron the fusible interfacing on one of the collar pieces. Pin and join the front facing pieces to the left and right front top at the shoulder with right sides together. Sew 5 8 of an inch with seam allowance to join. Sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance to join. Press the shoulder seam open and finish with outer raw edges of front and back facing with overlock to or zigzag stitch to prevent fabric from fraying. Attach the collar to the facing with right sides together and pin. Match the notches where the collar ends and lapel starts. Stitch the collar to the facing with 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance. Backstitch on both sides to secure the ends. Snip into seam allowance to release tension right to the point where the stitch starts and ends. Pin the short edges where the collar and the lapel are stitched together. Insert the sewing needle where the stitch ended and sew the pinned edges right sides together to the break point. Trim the seam allowance to quarter inch width and also clip the corners and along the curved edges to release the tension. Press the seam open. To sew notched collar shirt, place right side of the front top and right side of the back top facing together, then sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance, along the shoulder, underarm, and side seam. Overlock stitch the raw edges and press the seam toward the back.
Attach the collar to the top right sides together and stitch matching the notches along the back neckline. Sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance and backstitch to secure both the start and finish. Trim the seam allowance to quarter inch width and slip the curved neckline to smooth out and release tension. Pin the short edges where the collar and the lapel are stitched together up to where they are going to start breaking off. Insert the sewing needle where the stitch ended and sew the pinned edges right sides together to the break point. Trim the seam allowance to quarter inch width, also clip the corners and along the curved edges to release the tension. Press the seam open. Place the facing and the garment right sides together matching up all cut edges and pin. Sew 3 8 of an inch with seam allowance starting at center back down to the hem onto the front top. When you get to the point where the collars and lapel intersect, lower the needle, lift the presser foot and pivot the fabric. Trim the seam allowance to a quarter inch width and clip the corners and notches around the collar. Turn the facing to the inside, 
press and shape the point and edges with an iron. To sew the tie front notched collar shirt, overlock stitch the hem including the attached front tie piece and back opening. Also, overlock stitch the hem of the sleeve opening and press with iron quarter inch width toward the right side of the fabric. Then, again fold 1 inch width and press with iron. Tag the folded cuff sleeve opening with 3 quarter inch long straight stitch along the shoulder seam and under sleeve seam to secure the cuff so it does not flip. Single fold the hem toward the wrong side of the fabric with 1 8 of an inch with seam allowance to finish. Press with iron to release the puckering. Place the right side of the shirt on top of the left side of the shirt and overlap. This will be your first button position to mark with chalk. Measure from center of the button placement 2 inches away for your next button and mark with chalk. Insert the button on the buttonhole foot and replace the special sewing foot with regular foot on the sewing machine. Change the stitch type to buttonhole setting and match the red mark on the sewing foot to the middle of the chalk mark. Start sewing buttonholes on the garment, then use the seam ripper to open the slits. Transfer the buttonhole position to the right side of the front top to indicate the middle of the button positions. Hand sew the button in place. Lastly, press with iron and give enough steam on the notched collar, folded cuff, buttonhole opening, and hemline to complete this Eddy shirt front tie notched collar shirt to pair with your cute shirt. Thank you for watching, hope this video inspires you to sew the Evie front tie notched collar shirt with me. If you're up for the challenge, I'll share a link to the sewing pattern in the description below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more DIY clothing projects. Share your DIY clothing with me on Instagram at hashtag fashionwanderofficial or tag me so we can find you. See you in the next tutorial. Bye!